everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to slow cook Napa Valley lamb shoulder stew in a crock pot. You don't have to use a crock pot, you could use a Dutch oven if you like or you can even do it on the stove, whatever you like to do, okay, in a big crock pot. A large frying pan with a couple tablespoons of olive oil that's been heating. This is really, really hot, so I have it on very high. I want to sear my lamb before I put it in my crock pot. I have everything prepared. Mom did such a beautiful job chopping everything for me today. I have some celery, I've got sweet potato, cabbage, okra, tomato, carrot, mushroom, potatoes, some herbs and spices, and some really great things going on here. So I'm using um, lamb shoulder blade chops today. And if you've never seen these in the store, they're quite delicious. They are a um, nice treat, okay? However, they're, just because they're chops doesn't mean you could grill them and just, you know, um, cook them quickly, fast fry them. These guys need some time. They need to be braised, they need to be slow cooked, or they need to be in a crock pot for quite some time. So these are gonna get a couple hours tonight in the crock pot. Uh, we're gonna have tons of flavor in about four hours, I would say. And I'm starting with four beautiful blade chops. You can see it has quite a lot of connective tissue and, and some marbling going on there, and what a beautiful flavor. There are bones in here, which is gonna give us some wicked flavor, and I'm going to sear it first. We're gonna seal in some beautiful juices, kind of develop and caramelize that meat and get things going a little bit faster. I'm leaving the chops intact even in the slow cooker so we can just pull them out gently <laughs> and serve them that way. First things first, again, oil in the pan. I'm going to just quickly season with some freshly ground black pepper and some sea salt. Quick, quick, quick. Boom, boom, boom. Both sides. So what I do is I do it on the plate then I put that side down into the pan, and then I season the other side while they're in the pan. A little salt, a little pepper, beautiful. Mm. Lovely. Okay, bam, boom, boom. This would be a lovely um, meal for, you know, date night or Valentine's Day or even, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day, not a lamb. Now you can hear that sizzling because it's on a nice high heat, right? All right, next. Seasoning again on the other side. Salt, pepper, very basic. We want to get a nice brownness on both sides very quickly. You can hear that sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. It smells awesome in here already. Mom would love this for, for Mother's Day. <laughs> I'm sure one of her favorite things is lamb. We don't cook it very often. She enjoys it every time we do. Now, I'm going to turn this slow cooker on a high heat just to kind of preheat it before we start adding our ingredients. So this is only gonna probably take a few minutes aside. You just wanna very gently lift one side up and see if it's nice and brown. A few more minutes. You wanna leave them in their place because that's how they develop that brownness. Now, I like to use a spray guard when I'm doing high heat cooking where I'm searing things, that helps to keep the splatters down. All right, let's start loading this crock pot up, okay? I'm gonna start with the hardest vegetables on the bottom. I'm gonna put my carrots in. That's probably two large carrots. This is not an exact science. You're gonna use the vegetables that you enjoy and the vegetables you have on hand. Also, you have to be aware of how much your, your crock pot will actually hold. So we're gonna kind of eyeball things here and make sure all is well. In goes my cabbage. A few leaves shredded up nicely. It's gonna give a beautiful flavor and a nice richness. In goes my celery. And in between this, let's check on our meat. It really smells amazing in here. Let me show you what I got going on here. It's, it's so happy in here. Ready? Nice and brown. I'm gonna leave it one more minute or two and then flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side and that's gonna develop tons of flavor for our crock pot. I'm gonna sprinkle some black pepper on here since I already have it out. 
like a teaspoon. You're gonna re-season once it's um, almost ready to serve. Make sure everything tastes the way you want it. Bay leaf is going in one whole clove. That's mom's secret. I have maybe 10 or 12 coriander seeds. This is sort of a beautiful melange of vegetables. Uh, California is definitely known for their beautiful produce. That's about half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. I have six large mushrooms here. You may use button mushrooms or cremini's, whatever it is you like. And that goes, that is gonna give a gorgeous flavor. Mushrooms and lamb. There's just something about mushrooms with these gorgeous red meats. It's so tasty. All right, flipping my lamb. Just gonna sear the other side. Oh. You don't have to do this stuff on the stovetop. But you know what? It's really gonna develop so much flavor for you that you're gonna be so glad you did. Uh, again, you don't have to. Two large tomatoes. Tomato is wonderful for meats like this, the slow cook. It has some acid in it. It helps break down all those connective tissues and make everything tender and beautiful. You have to leave yourself some room at the top. I'm gonna add my sweet potatoes now. Um, just because I don't care if they break up in there. I want to kind of thicken my soup a little bit, my stew that's going on here. Beautiful. And don't worry about liquid because these vegetables, as well as the meat, has a lot of its own natural juices. And that's what you want things to kind of slow cook in. You are going to, you know, supplement that a little bit. I have a handful of okra, maybe five or six of them, just cut into chunks. Throw that in too. Those chops look amazing. I have some potatoes I'm going to add. This will condense down as things cook. So if you can't add everything right now, that's okay. Leave yourself enough room for those chops on the top. I have a handful of cilantro that I'm gonna rough chop, a little bunch of parsley, and I have some Swiss chard that I just took off one of my plants in my window. So cilantro, whatever kind of green herbs you like. I'm also gonna add some amazing spice in a second that I'm gonna tell you about. It's gonna knock your socks off too. In goes my beautiful rainbow chard I've got. You could use kale in here. Sprinkle that all on the top of this. Got some greens in there. And our lamb chops should be ready to go in too. So I'm saving some fresh herbs for later. I have some beautiful caramelized onions that I did earlier today. I'm going to add maybe a good two tablespoons of caramelized onion, all browned and sweet and delicious. All right, my lamb's almost done in the pan. I'm gonna use some amazing spice rub from Wine Country Kitchens. This is their Napa Jack's Napa Valley Rub, full of wonderful Napa flavor. It's gonna give you some really kicked up California vibes, that's for sure. And I'll tell you what's in here. We've got spices including chili pepper, garlic, tomato, sea salt, sun-dried tomato, uh, lemon peel, and citric acid, which is just citrus acid, right? So this is a wonderful blend. Mm, there's some other things in here they don't wanna tell you about, and I'm seeing probably fennel seed and some um, rosemary as well, and that's exactly what I want. Perfectly paired with lamb. I'm really excited. So we're gonna add about a teaspoon of this, sprinkle it all on the top. It's gonna round out all of our flavors and give us some exciting little kick. Boom. Check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com for this beautiful product, as well as their whole line of spice rubs and marinades and oils and vinegars that are all to die for. Okay, my lamb is done. Let me show it to you. We've got some really nice roundness on the bottom of the pan as well. Look at that. Ooh, is that seared up. Beautiful. Don't worry about those little brown bits in the bottom of the pan. That's exactly what you want because I'm going to deglaze the bottom of the pan with a little bit of red wine. It's going to get it right off of there, no problem. Just layer that in. Everything, again, will condense down as it kind of cooks, giving up its liquid to the rest of the stew. Fit them in, and we're doing well. All right, everything's gonna fit just perfectly. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of red wine. Use whatever kind of red wine you like. If it's from Napa, that's even better, right? 
All right, this one's from Niagara because that's where I am, and it's local. All right, you see how hot that pan is, right? I used maybe a half a cup of wine here, and you're just gonna take your spatula, and you're just gonna kind of rub that on the bottom, scrape any bits off you may need to get off. It smells unbelievable in here. Hey, Mom? Mm -hmm. Woo! Beautiful. That smells good. Beautiful. If you have all day long and you're putting this in in the morning and you're coming home to this for dinner, like, wow. Uh, put it on a, the, the low setting on your slow cooker instead of the high setting like I'm doing. All right, so now I've got this thick, rich, gravy-looking red wine infusion of beautiful lamb bits in there. And that's gonna be poured all on the top with that olive oil. No one's mad at olive oil. If she's good enough for Popeye, she's good enough for us, huh, Mom? <laughs> Gorgeous. When you're the chef, you always get the spatula. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more salt on the top in here. And I almost forgot. We love things spicy here. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of red chili flakes. Just sprinkle that all in. Woo wee, that is gonna be a tasty, tasty dinner. Woo, now, you have some options with the liquid, okay? Add water, you could add chicken broth, you could add beef broth, you could add lamb broth if you have it. You could add some more red wine, whatever the heck you want, okay? Uh, some kind of flavorful liquid is awesome, but see, water is gonna be just perfect. It's going to extract all those flavors and marry everything. It's gonna be just wonderful no matter what you choose. All right, I'm adding probably about two cups of water. That's about what I have here, and I'm gonna pour that on the top. Don't overfill until you can see that water coming up by those veggies. That's when you're gonna stop. It doesn't need to be overflowing. Again, these vegetables are gonna lend all of their juices to this stew as well. All right, two cups looks like it's gonna work well for right now. I might put a little bit more in a little while if I see fit. All right, so this is gonna cover this up and let this go for a few hours. You're gonna check on it, make sure it's not bubbling over. That's why you don't wanna overfill it for sure. And uh, we're gonna just keep checking on it. I'm thinking it'll take about three hours or so, and I might just leave it for a little while longer as well, because I want it to be nice and tender, like falling apart. I'm gonna serve this on top of rice, so you can get your rice ready in a little while, and all's well. You'll see us in a bit. Okay, this has been going for roughly four hours, and it is looking really amazing. Everything is bubbly bubbly. I just turned it off and moved it over here. I'm gonna transfer it to a soup tureen uh, just for a beautiful presentation, family style. I've got my rice ready, so make sure you have yours ready as well. If you don't know how to cook it, I made some beautiful jasmine scented rice in a rice cooker. You can check out that show as well. So the first thing I wanna do is take these gorgeous blade chops out ever so gently because they are falling off this bone and they are beautiful indeed. So I'm just gonna gently place them on a plate for right now and I'm gonna put them back on top of everything once I put it in the tureen. So this is a very beautiful dinner. Oh, everything's falling off the bone. Rich, hearty lamb stew. Beautiful dark broth we have here. Everything is just so flavorful. All the vegetables are tender. You wanna make sure of that as well. All right, into a beautiful soup tureen or whatever else you have. I'm just gonna spoon this stuff over. Oh, it's gorgeous. I do wanna say at this point, you wanna do a taste test, okay? Make sure that the seasonings are right because now or never, okay? So let's do that indeed. That's super hot, be careful. Oh, it is rich, it's dreamy. Perfect for cold weather. We've had an especially cold evening. Mm. Now I'm not gonna add any extra salt. People can do that on their own with their own bowl. I'm gonna take the bay leaf out if you find it. I always end up being the one that <laughs> finds the bay leaf in my bowl at our house. It is gorgeous. Um, also, I did wanna say, if you're not using a fortified wine like a port or something sweet like a sherry, 
then you may want to do your taste test and you if it doesn't taste quite right to you try adding a little bit of sugar that'll sweeten things up a little bit and help your broth that's also why I add sweet potatoes to it because it's just a beautiful flavor paired with the lamb this looks fantastic oh and there's so much here to eat um, this is gonna feed probably six or eight people I would say or four people twice gorgeous so I'm going to kind of make a bed here because there are so many beautiful vegetables in here. I'm going to make a bed for our lamb chops. And I'm going to just as carefully replace these on the top ever so gently. You want them to be intact, at least until they decide to pull it apart. Beautiful. What a gorgeous, gorgeous dinner. And I'm going to sprinkle generously with some fresh parsley on the top, just for some added color and freshness. Use lots if it's St. Patrick's Day. Couldn't ask for a more lovely stew. Let me show you how beautiful this is. Now the vegetables have formed a raft for these gorgeous blade chops, and it is just glorious. The, the scent that's coming out of here is just out of this world. If you're hungry, this is gonna satisfy you. Now, put the lid on until you're uh, at the table. Then you can take it off like the big reveal with the steam, it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so let's serve some up. I'm gonna start with a little rice in the bottom of the bowl to soak up all those gorgeous juices. And it's gonna be sort of like a raft for the veggies. Good stuff. Okay, the big reveal with the steam, right? So I'm gonna move one of these little chops to the side for a moment so I can grab a little bit of veggie and some of that broth. Just get that all over rice, get some of that broth. Oh, this looks even tastier by the second. So let's add one of these beautiful chops on the top. Lamb shoulder blade chops. It's been just slow cooking it's falling off the bones if you like oxtail stew then you're gonna like this too a little bit more broth for me now I know we have some parsley on top of the chops already but I'm just gonna sprinkle with just a tad bit more and this is one beautiful Napa Valley lamb shoulder stew in a crock pot so easy you can do it too it just takes time Okay, those flavors have developed. They're going to be just unreal. So all of these flavors have been mingling for hours and they are just going to be an unreal combination. What a gorgeous dish. I mean, are you serious? You have all the colors that you could ever dream of in from your garden. <laughs> and then you've got this beautiful seared up. You can still see where it was seared and, and charred in your frying pan to begin with. That's what kicked everything off, right? So let's go ahead and try some veggies. Mmm, I've just drunk in that flavor. Let me try a little bit of this lamb that's just literally just falling apart here. You can see all the, I'm gonna show it to you, my goodness. Look at that, just falling apart, shred by shred. So tender. What do you think, Mom? Oh, it's so good, Kim. Yeah? Mm. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Mmm, so tender. Mm. Mm. You'll have to choose a spoon or a fork. <laughs> mm. The tomatoes bring a nice brightness. Mm. You can taste that lovely wine. It may be stew, but you have all the uh, different uh, vegetables you can everything. Mm -hmm. So nice. They, that's right. The vegetables have very much maintained their integrity in the crock pot because we didn't go in there stirring things. You, it's unnecessary. It's just everything's going to bubble together and combine as you want it. Uh, just don't disturb it. Look at that. Carrots. Little thin carrots. Still in perfect pieces. Mmm. Potatoes. They like to fall apart. Look at that. They've been in the whole time. Mmm. Very nice indeed. Sweet potatoes. Still in cubes. Mmm. 
Again, use whatever kind of vegetables you like. You could have even put broccoli in here or asparagus. That okra has kind of, that's the one thing that has kind of just fallen apart and kind of melded into the stew and kind of thickened it up. And that's exactly what I wanted. Mmm, absolutely fabulous with rice. You could put it on mashed potatoes if you wanted to. Serve it as is, made with a fresh crusty bread. Mmm, I love this lamb. This is good this way. Mmm. It's so tasty. Your mouth just dances. It's so, it's so delicious. Absolutely. Now I do want to say, our household does need a lot of garlic and onion because some people doesn't agree with. If you want, you could have added up to a half an onion, a half of a large onion, and a couple cloves of garlic, and that would have really enhanced the flavor as well. It would have been lovely that way. Oh, this, this Napa Valley rock. Mm-hmm. Oh, the rosemary just <laughs> picks up flavor. You taste rosemary. Me yeah. too. Mm. Me too. Mm. It is is nice. Oh, wow. Good base of flavor. Yes. Mm. Because we kept things pretty simple. I would use that, that rock every time we make this. It's so good. It's beautiful with lamb, isn't it? Mm. It's like they were made for each other. I know, right? The mushrooms are really great in there too. Mm, they give a nice earthiness. Really, really good. Again, taste test. Make sure you have enough salt and pepper. I'm most pleased mm. with the fact that everything is um, discernible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every single thing. And it's not like a big mushy bunch of stuff. It's all mashed together. I agree. It Beautiful. I agree. You know, it, another ingredient that would have been lovely in here would have been a nice handful of lentils. That would have been yes. just like up the Richter scale. <laughs> Again, you can put it on a low temperature or the higher temperature. You can cook it all day. This could be ready for you when you get home from work. I would want this when I got home from work. That would be amazing if I walked in the door and I could smell that and <laughs> taste that in a couple minutes. That's pretty cool. Uh, make sure you check out winecountrykitchens.com for this ridiculously delicious rub and their whole line of rubs and other fabulous condiments and oils and sauces and vinegars and things. Mm, this is so good, I can't even explain to you how great it is. <laughs> it's nice. All that, um, any of the little bit of fat that was on there kind of melted into everything. Mm. It's really, really tasty. And all those vegetables, they do wonders for the meat. Because whether you like it or not, lamb is a little strong. It's a little gamey. Lamb can be a gamey for sure. Yep. And, and uh, I don't taste any of that. Those the vegetables, the combination of vegetables and the rub have just like, this thing up notches I be I agree. I completely agree. That red wine really is beautiful in there as well. So that's how you do it. That's how you slow cook Napa Valley lamb shoulder stew in a crock pot. You can do it too. You're gonna love this. Great for midweek or even a special occasion. Even if you were entertaining guests, that would be absolutely a beautiful way to do it. All right? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. And I'm also syndicated on Apple TV and Amazon. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going on in your culinary world. All right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Mm -mm -mm.